Have you seen countless videos on why you should start a faceless YouTube channel, how easy it is to start a faceless YouTube channel, so you're considering it, but then you realize, oh shoot, I have no experience video editing, what am I going to do? I was at that stage for a while, and I've been sifting through like dozens of different tools, AI tools, different video editors, trying to find something that was going to be simple to use, beginner friendly, and would help me make my videos in a short amount of time. Let's say less than 20, 15, 20 minutes. I made a channel two weeks ago with a tool I'm about to show you. So this was just my little experiment. I, I started it two weeks ago. You can see on August 26th, I've uploaded 30 videos. It's taken, changed a bit in terms of like my niche and whatever, but that's a different story. But you can see with just two weeks, I have 64 subscribers. This channel has gotten 30, almost 35,000 views, etc. And it, I only used, I strictly used this, this AI tool I'm going to show you because I wanted to test it out and make sure it was like a tool that actually could get help get you views. And again, all these videos that I made, it took me like 15, 20 minutes a day. I uploaded 30 videos in the span of two weeks. And again, I haven't really had made a faceless YouTube channel. I, I have made a faceless YouTube channel. It was a tiny cooking channel, but that's a completely different story. <laughs> Anyhow, the tool is called Flicky. And this is the homepage. It'll be the link in the description. Make sure you click on that. And this tool has a really simple video editor, which is perfect for beginners and generates an AI voice. So if you don't want to make your own voice over, you can have it do the voiceover for you. A couple things. I think it, for me, it, I think it has one of the best AI generated voiceover. I've searched dozens of features and like AI tools that create videos. And this one sounds the most natural to me. I'll, you'll see in, in a minute, but this one seems the most natural to me. You know that there's also that voice that you hear on all the videos, like those motivational videos. The voice is included in Flicky, and I can show you that in, in a minute too. So this is just the website. You can use it for all these different types of applications, but we're gonna use it for faceless YouTube. So you can use it for content creation, marketing, all these things. Okay, and then some other features. So you can make YouTube videos, you can type Basically, I, I made a video on this. I'll link that too. But you can basically just tell Flicky your video idea and it'll create a video for you with just literally just a click. And you, I'll show you that video. I'll link that video down below. You can change a, if you have a blog, you can make a blog to video, PowerPoint. To, okay, get the idea. It also has a voice cloning feature if you wanted to use that. And then some other things here. Pricing. You're probably curious about pricing. So it is free to, to try out. You can start today. The link in the description will get you to that free trial and you'll get five credits, five minutes of credits per month. You can test it out, see how, how it works for you. They have a standard plan, which is gives 80 minutes of credits per month with the, the yearly plan. And then the premium, this is the one I use just because I wanted to, to make a bunch of videos and, but this is the one I'm using, the premium. All right, so let's get to editing of videos. These are all the videos that I've made. I'm logged in here, but you just have to quickly create an, create an account. We'll go to new file. You can select the language you speak or your dialect. And we're gonna do how, I, I created a script already. How to survive a cheetah attack. Okay, we want a video, submit, easy. All right, and then this is what your video editor will look like. So you can preview here. There's the common scene. So this is gonna play in the background for the whole video. So it's where you're gonna add your background music. If you wanted some sort of text, your channel name to be at the top for the whole video, you put it here. Same thing for water or pictures. When you select the, the layer and it's highlighted in pink, then you can adjust the different features so if you want to change the volume, the speed, if you wanted subtitles, auto vid, audio vis, visual, audio vis, visualization, so like the audiogram, or kind of the sound waves will show, and then 
if it's something you wanted to apply for all the layers in your video, then you just hit apply similar layers. Um, it'll be apply more for, I'll show you here. You have the common scene and then you have your different scenes. This is going to play in the background and then this will go chronologically. When you click on this scene, you can pick its layout. If you pick this, then you'll have two, two sets of images, etc. and you can change the orientation. So everything you can change, if you highlight the layer in pink, everything you can change will be in this layout here. And you know what, actually, when you first, I should show you, because this is how it, a standard editor looks like when, when you get it. So maybe this will make more sense. Okay, so this is what it's gonna look like by default. Okay, layers, your video, what you can edit. Okay, when you click on a scene, you have the options to, to preview it. You can add either text, picture, audio layers, and then you have these other options, like if you wanna duplicate or create a duration, auto-generate next, or have a, a custom duration, Auto generate next is an AI feature, so it'll automatically, if you have a scene created, it'll automatically create a new scene with the voiceover images, everything for you. And this is where you'll write your script. Again, if you're in the voiceover feature, you can change the voice speed, the position of the subtitles, or if you don't want subtitles, there's different fonts size, how you want it to be displayed, colors, etc. And you can, again, apply to similar layers if you have multiple scenes. And then the voiceovers. So since I have the premium plan, I have a ton of voiceovers to choose from. So this dude. Flicky helps you create audio and video content using lifelike AI voices in less than a minute. Gavin is the one you probably hear in all the motivational videos. And then you can apply to all if you want it to stay consistent for your entire video. Okay, so let's go ahead and just hit settings. We want to make a YouTube short. So I'm gonna go to aspect ratio portrait and then just save it, easy. And let's just update this layer. So it's just the one scene for now. If we go to the voiceover, I like Marcus. So I'm going to apply this to all, take that out. So I have a script that I made just a quick little script already pre-made. And one trick I learned is when you copy it and paste it into Flicky, know that each new line will become a new scene. And you have up to, you can have up to 50 scenes per video. So then it makes, so if you want your, if you're making a YouTube short, you want it to be pretty snappy and to, the scenes to change pretty quickly for audience retention. When you have just a few words and you have a scene for each word, it'll move faster and, and be more exciting for the viewer. So I'm just going to copy this and then simply go in my first scene here and I'm um, just going to paste it. And you'll see here. So then it takes a minute to generate, but it'll create all the scenes for you and pick an image for most of the, the scene. Sometimes it the AI doesn't really know what to choose, so you have to choose it. But as you can see, we have this first layer, and it it just takes a minute to load sometimes, and my computer is slow. And then you can even, if you don't like this scene, you can ha either have it auto-pick a different one by clicking auto-pick, or if you hit the picture, you have a whole bunch of things to choose from. You can search for different videos. You can search for images or GIFs. Then we've also got your own library of images that you can upload and then you can even generate an AI image so it has different styles and then you can just tell the what you're wanting to create an image of and it'll create it for you. Okay so then you can see this is what it looks like with all this different scenes. It basically created the video for me. That, that's pretty much it if you wanted to do it. Oh, we'd have to probably add in a couple like for example this one it, it didn't know what to pick so we can do I don't know We'll just, you can search for something, click on something. Yeah, I like that. So you have a good start to your video already with just a script. You can choose a background file and you can search it. You have all these different, so you want something dramatic, right? 
and then it gives you a whole bunch of voices to search from. I don't know. Let's see. Okay. We want something exciting though. Okay. That's the vibe I'm going for. So we'll hit that. And then, so we have our background music. Then I want to make sure we have good subtitles. I'll click the voiceover layer. This position is good for me. I'm going to click, I like this text font. We want to eat big so people can read it. And I like it word by word. It's more engaging to my, my opinion. And then we can just change the color. I don't really want the background, so I'm going to turn that. And then shadow color all the way to black. And then I want this to be applied to all my scenes so it's consistent throughout the whole video. So I'm going to hit apply to similar layers and simply apply. And then let's say I wanted to add a picture, an additional picture to make it more interesting. I could do another cheetah. And then again, if you're in the layer, then you go ahead and you can choose where you want it. So let's say I want it there and I want it to be bigger. And then you just go on through the whole video like that, editing what, like the layer you want. If you wanted to add multiple images again or change the image, you can do that. All kinds of things. Okay. So let's just preview. I'll just show you a quick preview of this one. Let's see this, this scene we worked on. We'll hit play. Sometimes it takes a little bit. Yeah. My computer is lagging. I'll add it. I'll make a finished copy and then I can show you what it ends up looking like. Imagine this, a cheetah's eyeballing you like you're the last stack at a party. This spotted speedster can close the gap in mere seconds. Would you know how to dodge becoming literal fast food? If you want to survive, this is what you need to do. Yeah, I think it's, as you can see, it's really simple and intuitive to use. Obviously, it, since I think it's good, great for beginners or if you're trying to make a video quickly. There's not, it doesn't have all the features. When a, in a traditional editor, you can't, there's only so many, like, trans, you can't add transitions or, I don't know, all the cool effects. But I don't think that that's horrible. They're always also adding, trying to add new features. It is a fairly new software. So I know they're always trying to add new features and they're really receptive to feedback. Work, there's a ton of things that they're working on to improve the, the quality for the user. Anyhow, I hope this um, gives you an idea of something you could do for your YouTube channel. I know the hardest part about starting a YouTube channel is literally like getting started with it and sticking with it. I think Flicky, it helps remove that barrier because I'm sure you can figure out how to use Flicky in like less than 15 minutes and then have your next video in the next 15, 20 minutes, literally, if you wanted. So if you can find something that allows you to stick with it for the long term, then that's going to like greatly increase your chance of success. Again, I use this tool and I to get, as a beginner, get what 35,000 views in two weeks. I know you can do it too. Let me know if you have any questions or if you want to see more on this tool or any other topics related to faceless YouTube and or just to tell me how your first video turned out. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one guys.